pleased to welcome Dmitry Petrenko of Mazus Investment Company into the Deep Sloppy TV booth at the IFX Expo. Dmitry, thank you very much for coming in. So first things first, what makes you guys different? How do you position yourself amongst your competitors? The main priority of Mazus Investment Company is and always has been our clients. Also, the large number of our clean tea indeed become our partners and we pride ourselves on being a very partner-oriented company. So not only providing the great customer service to our clients, but also support and help our partners to achieve their goals and generously rewarded them uh, with their effort. Looking at the last year then, how has your organization evolved? What were the main challenges? And if we look towards 2014, for example, what do the main challenges continue to be? Well, 2012 was a quite busy year for our company. We started with a change of our website. We changed it, uh, we changed content, we added different languages. Also, we had a rebranding in the beginning of this year. We changed our former name, United War Capital, to Mises Investment Company and joined a group of uh, Mises companies. So, like now, we are proud to be a member of this group. 2012, we participated in different expos and become a golden sponsor of uh, MetaQuotes Automated Trading Championship. Our team, uh, they was working um, for the numbers of uh, promotions for our clients. And uh, actually this promise helped our clients a lot to boost their trading experience. What are your thoughts then on transparency within the FX world? Are we moving towards an exchange model? Will all brokers be ECN with one data feed? Or will we keep the OTC model? And if that's the case, then why? FX market, Forex market now is much more transparent than it was five years ago. But still we have a lot of companies which registered in uh, jurisdiction without proper regulation, I can say. And uh, this is not very good for the whole industry. But we can see also a positive dynamics where a lot of companies they are applying for licenses in a wide, let's say, least countries. So, well, speaking about transparency is not good uh, until we have this uh, offshore, uh, not good regulated companies on the market. Regarding ECN, I don't think that this is possible in the nearest future if all brokers will become ECN with, uh, with a soil uh, data feed provider. Because uh, there are a lot of companies, small companies, who act as a market makers. And uh, this is a big temptation for them, you know, just to grab clients' money without giving them a chance to win on the market. So OTC model, I think this is more realistic for today. So what is your future strategy then? New products, geographical expansion? Yes, we will be expanding uh, global markets further. We are planning to open new offices in this year in Europe, in Middle East, uh, in Latin America. We are about to launch and introduce to our clients new trading instruments, which I hope, of course, will increase their profit on the market. And this will also increase interest of uh, potential clients to our company. So, well, I think in uh, this year we have uh, pretty much plans and uh, pretty a lot of things to offer to our potential clients and, ex and existing clients too. And lastly, Dimitri, what are the best trading conditions that you can offer to your clients? We offer five trading platforms and seven different live trading account types. Our leverage is up to one to five hundred. We offer we offer floating and fixed spread, five and four digit quotes, uh, most popular trading instrument, forex, CFDs, commodities, and futures. Uh, so, like I think that uh, all clients can choose the condition which they like. Also, we proud to receive in this year. Uh, global banking and financial award 
as the fa fastest STP, fastest growing STP broker at Western Europe, which can prove to our clients uh, that we are providing them the most competitive condition on the market today. Dmitry, thank you very much for your comments.